Chena Chena, welcome back to another video here on the channel. Chena, and welcome to another video here. And like every other photographer do on YouTube, I'm gonna do what's in my camera bag 2024. This past year, I've been doing a lot of work with, with the camera, creating a lot of stuff, uh, both video and photo, mostly for my youth club and the hockey team I've been playing for. So my camera bag has pretty much been packed this entire winter. I never pack it up. I'm just leave it there and bring it with me before every practice. And my Gudox lights has pretty much been stationary at the rink because we've been using them for, for the intro. But now when the season is over, I feel like it's time to rethink and revalue what goes in my camera bag. First off, the most important for this video is that the bag is the same. The bag is perfect because it fits my 15 inch laptop uh, so I can bring it everywhere. And it also fits two cameras. And when it comes to cameras, which camera should I bring? I've been shooting film. Not as much lately. Uh, I have three roles that I need to develop. I haven't figured out where I will do it. The guy here in town that I usually goes to, they went bankrupt. So or I don't know if they went bankrupt and shut the store down. I can't do that anymore. So I need to figure out a better way to develop. I've been looking into doing it myself. Feels like I'm gonna, gonna ruin the film. I haven't figured that out, but I will try to shoot more films. So the Nikon camera will go in the bag. Most times, if I know I'm going out in the woods and doing a travel like camping video, I don't think I will bring it. I like shooting black and white and black and white in the woods doesn't just, it looks good, but I, it doesn't feel like that style I will, I'm looking for when it comes to black and white photos and film photos. The GH5 has been in the bag for the entire hockey season, pretty much. Because I've been filming, I've been doing intro videos uh, for the team. So the GH5 has been in the bag the entire winter. I've been using it to shoot photos as well. Kind of like easy to have a camera that's like all around. Uh, when I first got it, I set it up for photos. That's still there. Now it's all set up for filming, which gives it a more all-round use compared to my G9. The G9 is awesome to shooting photos with, uh, and all the settings are set up and definitely do a better job with taking a photo than the GH5. But the biggest problem there is that I haven't set it up for filming, which makes it a, bit, a little bit difficult because I've been sh filming for the most part when, when I bring the camera to the ring. When it comes to lenses, I pretty much had the 19 millimeter lens stuck on the GH5 because when you're filming something, when you're filming an interview, it's a perfect lens for it. And it's been stuck on the camera for the entire year. When I know I'm gonna do like a more production video or taking more photos, the Canon 2470, the perfect lens for what I've been doing because it gives me a variety from 24 to 70, which is a perfect span for like filming and taking photos like close-ups and more action-filled photos. In the beginning of the season, I shot portrait photos of all the players to use when we wanted to marketing our home games. And for that, I used the 35 millimeter portrait lens that I have, a Sigma lens. The quality of that lens is just amazing. It's been laying in the bag as well. I haven't used it a lot, so I don't really know if I'm gonna keep it there or not. Uh, it will stay for now. And because I've been shooting a lot of interviews, these has been amazing because I've been managing the, the interview. I've been the one talking behind the camera. I have two of them, snap one on me, snap one on the other person and just talking to each other. These are definitely something that I'm thinking about keeping now when the season is over. I'm, I'm not really sure. I have another road mic that are way better when I'm out vlogging, shooting a camping video because it captured the audio around the camera. I've tried filming a camping video using one of these and it just didn't work out best. I snapped it on me and it captured too much of the sounds around me. And I want, I want it to be like birds, the leaves falling and, and the road mic did a way better job. It's not a top line road mic, but it gets the job done. As I think I said uh, last summer that I want to shoot more drone videos and more taking more photos using the drone. The drone has pretty much been forgotten. I used it in the beginning of the fall just because we were shooting a video that we wanted to just get out there and market the new season. After that, the, the drone has pretty much been laying back here somewhere, which sucks 
It haven't fit in the bag. I want to change that. So the drone will definitely go in the bag this upcoming year. And as I said in the beginning, this bag is perfect for fitting my laptop. It's an HP Spectra laptop. It's not the best. I've been looking to upgrade a little bit, but I haven't figured out which one I'm gonna use. So I will keep that to the future. And hopefully, and what laptop I'm ending up with, I hope it's still gonna fit in the bag. The batteries I've been having has been pretty much laying in the bag all the time. As soon as I've seen some of them uh, starting to run out, I bring take them out, start charging them, and then put them back in, back in the bag. So I know I always have fully charged batteries. And maybe we should move over to the most important parts that's in my camera bag. Number one, Dextrosol. I don't know how many times it actually saved my life having these. As soon as I get a low glucose level or my blood sugar drops, always are nice to have them close to hand. And when I'm out shooting or doing something, I always know, I always know I have at least one package in the bag, full one. As soon as I started eating from them, I get home, I fill it up, I put a new one there. And it's just it's such a relief having them. I don't need, need to be afraid of losing control. Second most important item in my camera bag for 2024 is my harmonica. I don't know why I kept that there. I have two. One, I actually know how to play a little bit on. Other one, I don't know, I bought it fairly cheap and it just sucks. I can't get it to sound right. It's a smaller one. It's a 10 hole harmonica. For some reason, it just doesn't feel and sound the same. It's a cheap one. It feels a little bit more plastic than, than the other one I have, which is a 16 hole, but it's just been ending up in the bag. I don't bring it out. I don't take it out. And the reason I left it in the bag is because I always have it with me so I can play and practice, which I haven't done yet, but it will stay in the bag. Time to wrap it up. And that's how I'm packing my camera bag for 2024. Over the year, I probably end up adding something and taking something away. This is pretty much the baseline of what I'm having in the bag. Let me know if there's something that you have in your bag that most people don't. It would be nice to see if someone um, have something special that maybe I can bring or maybe give someone else a tip of what to add to the bag that stands out from the rest. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. I've put up the tent and looking to buy another one. But now when the snow is starting to disappear, hopefully I can get out and make some more camping videos. Hold on.